I want to I want to address a question that has been popping up from time to time with some of the callers about this Kaichur and Kanji oil blocks giveaway. Kiana, you could help me out and make some notes for me, please, so we can right. we can we can simplify this thing for yeah. the for the the general public. Although I have spoken so much on it, a lot of people still didn't get it fully. They didn't grasp what played out. So let me try to explain it a little simple so that you guys can understand what's, what has played out with it. The Kaicho and Kanji oil blocks were part of the Stabrook oil field which ExxonMobil now owns the biggest portion of that field. Every four years, each oil company is required by law to give back 20% of the oil field that them ain't use. So, you call that give back relinquishment. Am I correct? Yes. Good. When you relinquish something, you give back something. So, when was Exxon torn to hand back the first and second 20%? That portion was split up and renamed Kaichur and Kanji oil blocks. I, I hope I'm, I'm, I'm very clear. Mm. Good. The size of those two oil blocks amounted to 4.6 million acres and ExxonMobil was left with 6.6 .6 million acres. That's what they're working with presently. Come next year, they have to give up another 20% of their Starbuck block. Kaichu give up anything? Yes, Kaichu did. Um, there was a relinquishment before for um, Kaichu Kanji. Beautiful. Lovely. Thank you. Now, Uncle and Auntie, the PPP government could have sell that when Exxon hand back Kaichu Kanji. They could have sell that two oil blocks and make big money. I was told through the grapevine that ExxonMobil themselves approached the government at the time to buy it back, but the government refused to sell it. So me and you lose up big time on that. What the PPP did, Kiana, under the Ramatar presidency and Robert Passad as the head of the ministry at the time, they gave it away to Guyanese free. The Guyanese will get it, turn back and sell it before cock crow to ExxonMobil and others. And what Guyana get, Josh? <laughs> Nothing. When President Ramatar was asked, he said he acted on the advice of Robert Passad, the then minister in charge of the oil blocks, and with the recommendation of the GGMC. And when Robert Passad was contacted and asked who are the people the oil blocks went to, <laughs> yes, uncle, he said he'd never see them, never meet them or know them. He only meet with the lawyers who sign on behalf of the owners. And when he asks, who's the lawyers <laughs> that sign on behalf of the owners? He said he can't remember or know where their office is, is located. <laughs> Joshua Paula, <Pallavina. laughs> When Kaicho News do find out who got the Kaicho and Kanji oil blocks and called them for a comment, Uncle. One of them told my reporter, 
he is driving and cannot hear good <laughs> too much noise call back call back when you call back later in the day later in the day and the next day the phone never answer the other one when asked oh that was a long time ago i can't remember one not hearing good i want can remember <laughs> that's right imagine you get you get you guys get two whole aisle blocks worth billions and one can remember and the other can not hearing good too much nice josh <laughs> you see what these people do in this country this is not this is not fish business you know josh this a fishy business going on in this land yeah. when jagdo came back into office and was put to head the oil industry my report i think it was you kiana ask him if he can carry out an investigation of the kaicho and kanji oil blocks giveaway he told kiana wilberg <laughs> oh sure he will but he never but he never ever believe that any laws were broken you remember that yes i do <laughs> he tell us he never believe he, he will carry out an investigation but he believe no laws were broken you know what i mean kiana he don't make up in mind that investigation ain't going nowhere to this day i can't tell you all what an investigation was carried out much less a proper one but i can tell you guys this on my radio program with barajad leo i asked him about the investigation he said we that report is not is not out i hunt to this day <laughs> uncle man me kiana kiana me used to wait in we still waiting <laughs> And every guy and he is still waiting to see that report of who's the beneficial owners of those two oil blocks out hmm. beneficial owners uncle meaning who really pocketed the money from the sale of the oil blocks to Exxon Mobil and the others who buy them hmm. sometimes we do one thing you know. <laughs> Tan, ta, na, 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 na. But you know, Kiana, <laughs> when you hear this Nancy, bear Nancy story, you know, you, you just put your to sing sometimes. And with that, Kiana, you want to say something or let me talk a little more? <laughs> let me talk a little more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am becoming a celebrity these days. The talk show clowns talking my name and almost every show i am so happy ya sure <laughs> i'm so happy i'm even more happy when the leader is talking my name all over thank you guys barajagde went to borbis and before he could address the audience as to what he was there for he began to talk about kaicho news reporters and glen lal he said my reporter asked him what would he do and how he would repay the huge loan if there is an explosion at the wells gas plant <laughs> man she touches nerve at that press conference that when he got a barbie uncle <laughs> as soon as the man land there and open his mouth man he went off on that question Yeah, sure. Cut it out. Could you please play it? Let him hear it. Yes, play it. I just came from a press conference, and at that press conference, a reporter from Kaicho News asked me, "What will you do, and how will you repay the loan 
if there is an explosion in the gas to energy project. Now, we have not built that project as yet. But we now have to answer what we will do if there is an explosion in the power plant. Now, they missed the entire picture of that project. The project we are working on, which will be completed within two years, will ensure that we have a stable supply of electricity in this country. When completed, we'll cut the price of electricity by 50%. We will generate enough cooking gas from that project to export. So in two years time, you can have cooking gas prices reduced significantly in this country. The sale of the liquids alone would pay back for the whole project. And they're worried about what if we have an explosion? So I asked, I said, the publisher of Kaichor News, Glenn Lal, was there. And I said, he's building a nine-story building. What if the building collapses? What if the building collapses or the foundation give away? Why doesn't he stop building it now? So this is how it has always been. When we built that bridge across the Barbies River. You're right for stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> Uncle and Auntie, Barajan, they're going to invest a huge set of billions on a deadly gas plant. Something which he has never held a press conference on. A matter of fact, he and Winston Brasington held a briefing since 2021. A little briefing until the media must record them. Is at that forum, Uncle, after asking him, after I ask him a question, and the answer he gave, I got upset and walked out. He has never held back a press conference to tell this nation or show this nation how the investment will cut electricity in half. And now when my reporter asked him about an explosion, you could have, you could have, could have heard him. He's upset. He's offended. Everything will cut in half for him. From since he was president to now, everything will cut in half. The skeleton plant would have cut sugar price by half. Where is that today, uncle? You know where that is? The debt is sitting on every guy and he's back. It's a white elephant. The money he already spent at GPL. If you count it up, uncle, it can give the entire United States of America, all their citizens, free electricity. Not cut it in half, free. That's the kind of money, if you count it up, where you, where you spend. They have no packaging plan that never packaged sugar to make back the, the money they said they spend on the zinc sheet alone there. Look where it is today. They broke it down the other day and give away the land to an oil man for next to nothing and carry the same plants on wheels to Bobby's to spend another trillion dollars on it. Look at the water you all drinking all across this country and check the money what they spend. Man, every Guyanese should have been drinking the purest water on earth with that kind of money they said they spend in the water system over the years in this country. Why else, Josh? Huh? Look at the hydro. He was going to throw on us. The world was paying 1 million US a megawatt. And he was going to saddle this nation with almost 7 million US per megawatt since 
2007 किया ना कैन यू इमेजिन अब आतो आत फॉर हंड्रेड डाले बीन सेवन हंड्रेड डाल फॉर हाँ ही वांट इट टू ब्रिंग इट बैक द आरे दे अत अलमोस्ट फोर मिलियन डाल फॉर मेगा वाट and tell me a chinese man go sell me electricity when the world is paying 1 million dollar for megawatt ma kiana i don't think i should take up much of your time you know no hmm? i i understand you but your you go ahead but you went on to equate a deadly gas plant with my wife's building on regent street saying if the building collapse or if the foundation give away Could you believe this man? Huh? Equating a gas plant a with a building is this for real in this land? Hmm? You know, I want to believe I am renting space in his head free because everything he says and do is catching up with him by the hour, Kiana. They can't cope with it. The madness. The insanity that's going on in this land is catching up with them, and you see how they're buying out people on all these talk show hosts. All of them, the madness catching up with all of them. You know what irked me more, dear Kiana, was when he telling the Bobbitians he will cut electricity bill by half with no proof whatsoever, man. Hmm? That is like me telling y'all. Bus fare and taxi fare gonna reduce. Or the land budget price will go down by half. Or chicken price will go down by half with no proof. That is what Jaddo doing to this country at present. Are you ever hear anything go down in your lifetime, brother? Huh? Don't tell me. Is this what? This what the Guyanese people falling for and turning to man. No, please don't tell me this. Eh? And people still believe in this man. You heard them heard a clapping without any proof. Then he went on to talk about Barbie's bridge, but he didn't tell the people them how he best friend. Is the largest single private shareholder in the bridge and reaping the hag of the profit center now. Mm -mm. Then he went on to or further to talk about him about Maria Hotel. That one again. He didn't tell us who he installed secretly and had to be paid when the hotel wasn't. Wasn't making money back in the days. Now God smile on Guyana with oil. The hotel making money and he want half it out, <laughs> telling us he looking for a buyer. Guys, I will play the whole speech he had at Barbies after this program, so you guys can hear him for yourself. With your own ears, I wish some of y'all could see when he was talking about the gas plant, how Exxon Mobil King Routledge was smiling away because they are the ones who robbing Guyana and stand to benefit out of this gas plant, while you and me will suffer with the debts. Yes, we will suffer with the debts on our back, just like the Skeldon plant and many other dead projects never kick off the ground under Jack Dio's presidency. Please, I am begging all of you: call your friends, your neighbors. If they have never listened to my program, please, I beg all of you. Don't miss Friday night program. I think it's one of my best program you will ever hear since I began this program two and a half years ago. And with that, Kiana, please.
take over. <laughs> I'm tired. Thank you. Thank you very mm. much, Mr. Lau. Uh, yes. As I was listening to your comments there, there's a lot to unpack. Mm -hmm. uh, the first, you know, I'd start with is reminding of a recommendation made by chartered accountant and attorney at law christopher ram mm -hmm. he in the early stages of writing his uh column that's published by starbrook news he made a call for a commission of inquiry into the petroleum industry mm -hmm. and the idea of it was uh not so much a lot of people didn't buy into it uh, and i'm talking about the political leaders of the day mm -hmm. uh, there wasn't a lot of um interest in that but i nonetheless believe that a commission of inquiry is needed into the oil and gas sector so that we can understand where loopholes were exploited and who are the individuals that are acting in the interest of the country versus those who are acting in the interest of their own of their own uh, beneficiaries people they they a select group that they want to benefit from this oil and gas industry and so i would reiterate that call that if not a commission of inquiry there needs to be some kind of comprehensive detailed discussion with those who have us here and those who will continue to lead the way because it's going i i am of the firm belief that it will uh, provide us with useful information on where the loopholes for exploitation really are and on that note you know i listened to the vice president and it is saddening that the vice president of this country, who is the chief policymaker for the oil and gas industry, mm -hmm. is at loggerheads with mm -hmm. the only news agency mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is willing to go the mile to the ends of the earth to touch on every topic. Mm -hmm. There is no topic that Kaitro News has been afraid to touch in the oil and gas sector fair enough there are times when the context is not fully there but that comes with being part of the learning curve and we have always relied on the help of whether it's international reports or whether it is from international consultants experienced people in the industry providing us with that guidance on many of these issues and it's it is saddening to see the 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 this this tension between the newspaper as well as the vice president when really and truly this should be a one-on-one -on -one discussion ironing out what exactly are the inhabitants to what government is is doing what it wants to achieve a, a brutal analysis a brutal discussion about where we are and where we need to go and i think if we start from the point of understanding that everybody needs to be at the table a lot of what we're seeing would be removed you know earlier today i was listening to a press conference uh sorry not a press conference a seminar uh, 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 an energy seminar where hess corporation uh one of the companies that has a 30 percent stake in the stabro block that company has been telling shareholders from day one that Guyana is the crown jewel. Guyana is the mother of all the dragons out there. Mm -hmm. And this company has been the chief cheerleader for this company. I can tell you exactly how much they're budgeting to spend on Guyana. At what point or at what rate uh, or at what stage in their their pro their operations they're going to be cash free how much they're looking to spend on on particular uh, programs etc that company is forthcoming with its shareholders mm -hmm. 
and the people who are in charge of our assets, our patrimony, mm -hmm. that's our political leaders. <laughs> and as their shareholders, we are not getting that same type, the, that level of accountability that we need in the oil and gas industry. Mm -hmm. The dissemination of information about how much is going to be spent and where and how and why. And I think that the conversation really needs to pull on on those two on those two issues on us really getting uh the larger part of society to understand what kaitro news our role is what we are trying to do and the fact the fact of the matter is is that we want the government at the discussion table unfortunately we have not been successful in many of our attempts to do that we've sent requests to the president for one-on-one -on -one discussions and that has hmm. never materialized i have personally requested to speak with the vice president on critical matters that we've been covering at kaitro news on the oil and gas sector this was more than we're going on two years now mm -hmm. since many of those requests have not been answered and uh, you know it's not that kaitro news is not trying we are making attempts but they continue to be sidelined so you know i really i'm i'm taken aback to when i hear that recording of the vice president um demonizing kaitro news mm -hmm. um hitting out at, i was there at the press conference and it seems to be this personalized attack on Kaitra News, on the reporters who are just asking genuine, genuine questions that are based on the fears of citizens. Now, I would hate to think that this is the type of reaction that we're going to get if we're the ambassadors for the ordinary man. We're the eyes and ears for the ordinary man. What do we communicate to them when we ask these questions? And, you know, just, just to be clear, I don't agree with the comparison between a building and a gas to energy project. It's chalk to cheese. Mm -hmm. I mean, we carried a... Uh, an article and i just make reference to it mm -hmm. where 15 natural gas plants exploded in the u.s in over eight years in the past eight years 15 explosions mm -hmm. and that led to billions in damages lives uh, for lives homes that were lost that were affected so it's not as though we're Pulling, uh, you know, just trying to work some magic trick or asking a question that has no basis. There's, there's so many risks involved with gas to energy projects. And I think people deserve to know the extent to which government is considering these risks and what mechanisms are being put in place to ensure that we are well protected. Thank you. So uh, I'll end on that note. Thank Mr. you. Lown. Kiana? You talked about the about an investigation yeah. into the these um, the oil sector. I believe every single Guyanese mm -hmm. wants an inquiry, wants yeah. an investigation to see and to know what transpired, what happened, and where we are going with this right. oil sector. Right. And uh, what have you been hearing from these people when you ask simple questions reporters are met with insults yeah and degrading remarks from top this is really sickening what's happening in this land hmm? you talked about Hess cooperation one of the investors out there yeah talking oh, just today to their shareholders. What about the Guyanese people? We, every Guyanese, were the owners of the wealth. Mm -hmm. Who's telling us anything about that? Hmm? You have people, investors, telling their shareholders what is here for them and about the, the crown jewel. What you hearing from our leaders, Kiana? You know what we're hearing about cutting electric bill with no proof? We can do this and we can do that. 
That's what we're hearing in this land. Sometimes I am so lost for words. When I read these daily articles we are carrying in the Kaicho News, if I am to begin to just do programs on one day newspaper, it will take a whole six months program three times a week, Uncle, with the insanity that's going on in this land, in the soil sector. What have you been hearing, Kiana? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. The word I keep saying, every word that comes out, comes off these people's lips, is about Guyana and how great Guyana is. For them, and what we're hearing from our leaders, absolutely nothing. And when, uh, when, they have their, when they have these outings and so on, man, look, look the turnout they get. Look the clapping they get. Something is definitely wrong in this land. And I'm not blaming the people. I, I'm not blaming the people. But you guys got to start opening up your eyes and your minds. As to who is really telling you all the truth. Who is looking out for your interests. These guys are only misleading all of you. For your votes. There is nothing there for you. You know, Kiana. I am seeing it. I have seen how oil producing countries. Fall to the wayside. Worst off than where they were before oil pumping. And look what's, look what's happening in this land. Look what's happening in this land. Oh my. Oh my. Kiana? Let me remind you that you guys should call us this evening. I have I got six, a couple of calls seven, here already. Five, Let me. I had a couple of calls, but I didn't take them. 622-2220. Okay, I'm going to take them. And 624-6456. Hello? Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, I'm calling from Mr. Kibble. Yes. Um, you know, uh, we had a um, call from Miller and uh, Kibble Court on Henry China. And the minister and the regional chairman, they're talking about light and road and that kind of thing. You know? Go ahead. So they, yeah, so they, they, were, they were talking about development, and they got this barber green machine all over the place making roads just to fool people. Well, road is development, but the, the question is where the money coming from that they are doing these roads? Is borrow money? Yes, correct, sir, so yes. I, I understand that. And, um, and the gas to show um, project? They can't the show a project. They say they cut the electricity in half. How they can cut the electricity in half, then only one region or two regions will benefit from that electricity. Wow. How all the rest of the Quam part in this country electricity on cut in half. That's another uh, very important um, point you raised there. You hear that, Kiana? And this man, this, this vice president, right, and the president, they have taken people for fools that will happen to them. Mm -hmm. I hear you, brother. I hear you. Yes. And Thank another you. thing, to be, we were we working on um, security, and, and then now they just put the 3% um, increase for meeting um, at the security people. They say who run the security. Um, 3%? Yeah, they say the, the security um, the, the, um, security service, NNM trucking security service, said that they put 3% off of them the, uh, because um, the government there is nothing to them for give me more increase. So what a month you guys getting? You mind if I ask? Yeah, we just get like um, fifty-three thousand dollars a month. <laughs> oh boy, that's like thirteen thousand dollars a week. Yeah, I already tell you that. Isn't oh that? boy. Uh, the Monday program, yeah. Thank you, thank you, my friend. Oh boy, thirteen thousand Guyana dollar a week. Wow. Our brothers and sisters working for in this country. Kiana, you know what $13,000, my friend? 
60 US dollar a week. Some of these workers that are working out there is getting that maybe by the hour, by the hour. <laughs> oh my gosh. You giving somebody 3% increase on a $52,000. You know that's how much? That's $1,500 you give them increase. $1,500, $1,600 increase you give on somebody working for $53,000 a month. <laughs> In the fastest growing economy on earth. Oh boy. Oh boy. Good evening, Glenn and team. How are you guys doing? Good. Uh, Good happy evening. happy Good evening. International Women's Day, Kiana. Thank you very Thank much. You. Good evening. Um, happy International Women's Day to all Guyanese women. And I think all Guyanese women, it's, it can be a happy day until the Guyanese women get a fair share of what belongs to them as mm -hmm. Guyanese women. Mm -hmm. They have suffered so much. Our ancestors suffered so much. Our, our ancestors suffered as slaves, were beaten, were raped. How to watch their children suffer? Or um, the other ancestors, um, the indentured servants, is went through similar but not exact same thing. So women, our Guyanese women, deserve a break. They deserve a fair share of their God-given patrimony. Mm -hmm. And these clowns, we have leaders who are giving it away to the foreigners. I wish our guys women could stand up and tell these these low life, tell them what they are and what they are doing and how they how they make life hard for women who have to find food for the children, mm -hmm. who have to find clothes for the children, mm -hmm. who have to watch them, their children go to bed hungry at night. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. This is unconscionable in the twenty first century with our God given wealth who they are giving away to the richest one percent of white America. These people are heartless, heartless people. These are greedy, heartless, sick. Sick people, these are sick psychopaths. Hmm. You understand? They are psychopaths that they hate human beings. You have to hate your fellow human being to give away billions of US dollars of their money to foreigners. That is beyond treason, sir. That is beyond treason. I am with you. Right? So, our women are going to please, I beg of you, get your men, forget your sons, get your children. We have to tell these leaders, we have to. We have to tell them we are not going to take this anymore. We demand our fair share of our resources. Thank you, my friend. Well, and a quick thing. No, quickly, I'm afraid. Let me just finish this quick point. We have some so-called economists. These clowns keep on telling our young people, right, that Guyana does not have the money to invest to, to these projects. Right? Well, the laser one and laser two project, which they claim, they claim was three and a half billion and, and four billion, was eight billion or nine billion, whatever. Now that the investors nine billion, they don't have to invest a cent anymore because right now, with our three hundred eighty thousand barrel of oil a day, that comes up to ten point five billion US dollars a year. They only give the government of Guyana less than one point three billion. So they are clearing nine billion US dollars profit every year right of our oil. They are taking away as, as cost oil. They are taking nine billion dollars a year. So nine every every other project right now, the Payara project, they can be financed on one year of our oil. The Yellow Tool project could be financed on one year and three months of, our, of the next year and three months. So they are using our oil and that's financing the next project. So they are not investing anymore. But they're still charging us interest as if they were borrowing the money, but they are not. They are using our oil, our own oil, and using our own oil and not paying us interest and charging us interest. And that's this what these clowns we have for leaders and are this, them to do. And this happens, this can happen to go along because of the lack of ring fencing. Exactly, because as of now, we should be collecting 50% of both, which will be collecting 5 billion US dollars a year. Exactly. If you get a half 50%, it will be over 5 billion dollars a year. Exactly, and we could have taken our 5 billion and reinvest it in, in the other projects and make the same kind of interest rate, Exxon Mobil taking our oil money and charging us interest on top of it. No, we will take we will take our five billion. These clowns, these these clowns who call us and call us. We will take our five billion and invest in our project. We could invest in our natural company. We could invest, so we don't need to borrow any loans or anyway. I got you, man. I got you clear, brother. I'm I'm on the same page with you. 
I think I think everyone understand what we are saying here. Thank you for raising. One other quick thing. Yeah. One quick thing. The young people, we need that young man to encourage his friends. Don't be disappointed. Don't be down. Don't be de don't be down with. Me. Get your fellow young men together and demand your rightful future. You cannot allow that to sell out your future. Get your young people together and stand up for yourself. We, the older folks, will stand up with you. Our patriot again will stand with you. If this is our patriot, the guys have to stand together against this atrocity. We cannot allow this up one more day, much as another year or another two years. I hear you, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Hello. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Uh, yes, good evening. Um, sir, wouldn't you start a revolution for us, sir? And we will follow. Please. In this time, we need it. Need this country needs needs more than a revolution at, at, at this at this moment, but you have to get the people out. Thank you. We have to get the people out. But once you can get the people out, once the people once the people come in from Kaicho News and they're ready, then Allah will lead it. Have a good day. You want a revolution? Call a good evening and welcome. Kiana? <laughs> Go ahead, caller. Uh, Hello? I, you see, what's going on in this country, right? Around the people to understand. When you get somebody to believe in it, it's very hard for the public to believe. You know, we had an incident in this country years ago. I'm not hearing you. Right? And this incident is talking about Jim Jones. You know, when was the last speech Jim Jones had? He said, whoever believes in me will die with me. And that is what he did. And then you got the people in this country to believe in him. And in spite of what we see, or almost Mr. Grenada well, talk, there are certain set of people in this country who believe in Jambi and they would never go against you, they would never get on the streets in spite of what we do. It means that this country is divided. And if the country is divided, they could never get a success or they could never get people out to be like Jambi. And because, you know what? We divided. The other country will bring down leaders is because the people united. And all this come together. And they get in the streets, and in spite of what they place, they just bring them people down. But in this country, it's easy to happen that way. This holds me, me caller, one second. Can you hold on the line? Hello? Hello? Could Can you, you hold on the line? Yes. Good. I didn't get you very clear, but I, I think I understand where, where you're coming from. That Jack Bio has, the fo has his followers. But let me let me say this let me say this loud and clear. Whatever Jack Dave is doing, the opposition in this country is just as equal, culpable, like Jack Dave. Their silence on everything, you hear me, brother? Yeah. Speaks volume. So we can't just blame one side of the coin. What's happening in this land? is both sides of the coin they have all sold this nation out take back well, the, take back the phone what i trying to say the kind in this country if we get the kind it should be it should be the same it means that we will get things done but they see this country divided and as long as we get a divided people we can never get what we want all of you have to come together how can, together, we, 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 how can, can how can we unite them well, that is, that is the problem. If you can't get the fuel to unite, if you can't get the fuel to, to unite, you could never get where you want to be going. We see other leaders in other court parts of this world get set down by the people. Because you know why? Because everybody unites and gets in the streets and rain or sun in the streets until they get to other one. I but hear you, my friend. I hear you, you loud and clear, clear, my friend. friend. You can't get to be coming to your one and two days and you have to stop the protest. You know why? Because the majority of people bring the seat down, in the house, and just take it with the government and the opposition. Everybody they know, nobody is coming out and nobody is taking it. And this kind of thing, don't care what you talk. It's only God could change this. Only God. Mankind can't change who God is. God got to intercede. God? It's only way things could change. God have to intercede. Mankind can't do this. Because I... the country is not, is divided. And once it's divided, we could never get what we want. In this country. I hear you, brother. Thank I hear you. you. I hear you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. The gentleman said, Kiana, that only God can change what's happening here. That I am fully, I am fully with you on that one. God is the, the who is in command and in charge of everything. But I want you to also know 
that God says, you mustn't just go to the church or go down on your knees and, and pray to him. What, do you, what he says, Kiana? You have to get up and get for yourselves. He's not going to hand you on a platter like that, sleeping on your bed and moping and hoping. No, you got to get up and get. Kiana, you want to say something? Yes, we had an interesting line of um, callers there, mm -hmm. and I I want to thank everyone for you know their vibrancy. Yes. You can feel that Guyanese are are truly enraged. They're they're passionate about uh, these topics. So you know I'm happy to, to hear the views. I have a call here. Call, good evening. Thank you for holding. Yes. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yes, that caller that you called about the way we are divided in this country has a point. You know. Right. right. Mr. Granal is, is fighting he's fighting a battle and I'm with him, you know. You know. He has a point. But um we got to we got to really do something, you know. I, I, I am this, this, this situation, we see this man, Jagdeo, it's not an easy, it's a hard kind, you know. The opposition, it appears that these people are already, they're bought out, you know, right? They're already bought out, but we got to, we got, we got to remove these people or we're going to, we're going to perish. <laughs> they are not looking at the situation, you know, that Africa has went through and is going through with these oil giants, right? Mm -hmm. And we are in the same, it's going to get worse when, when they say when ship gone fall, when boat gone fall, you can't throw them back. Well, our right? shipping gone fall in, in the fall yet. So don't give me it's that. In the fall yet, but mm -hmm. if we don't turn the ship back, in you know, fall. No, we can turn it back. We can talk about it. Jack Dio said the other day, and the president, they're not probably no, they're not dealing with no changes of the, of the concert. You understand? Because they pack it down full. We go live in poverty till we meet the cemetery. Right? You understand? Mr. Lal, Mr. Christopher Ram is asking them the other day to bring up some, how did they, the money being spent by a yes, mobile or somebody, and these kind of things. Right? I am of the opinion it's only the Guyanese people come out and shut this country down. You know? And I don't know how we can get these people out, of, out <laughs> because they're sitting on their butt. Is any need to move these people? We can you get know? them. Don't worry. Thank you. We can get them. We'll get them, brother. We'll get them. I hope, I, I hope we will. I, I really, really hope. All we can get them, man. Because... You know, look, I passed the other day and see the water in the state house with the fire reel. Eh? And I, I got some stinking water that's come to me fight. Eh? I can hardly bear with it. Hey, you know? I hear I you, don't brother. Know what we can do. get them out. Thank I, you. I, Thank I, you so I, much. I'm with you. You know? All right, thanks. Good evening. Good evening. You're live in the air. Yes, good night, Mr. Lal. Yes, good night. Good night, uh, the female... Um, Kiana, yes, Kiana. Yes, good night. Yeah. And happy uh, International Women's Day to you all. Thank you. It's a lot of get you. Can you slow the radio down? Yes. Yes, yes. it's off. Yes. Okay, um, go ahead. It's a lot of almost 70 years. Mm -hmm. I voted for the PPP for the first time. Yeah. And the reason why I voted for the PPP is because I said, as a old man, at least I'll get a, a five or six year old next time with this aisle. The promises that I was convinced that it would take place. Hmm. Where the president said he going to negotiate, renegotiate, and Mr. Jagger said he, he, he views out the system so bad that you recognize that, okay, the PNC and they did the, the cruel and the weakness or the weakness, they did a lot of nonsense. And this thing will be corrected. And as a old man, I said, I get a chance now to get a little life before I go down and it me on. Oh. So I put my ex. Oh. I put my ex there and I vote for these people. Oh. You can talk to me about PPP. I was always a PNC, you know this? You know how this thing is going? Yes, yes, but yes. This yes. time I said, no, I give these people this chance. 
Yeah. I hear you, brother. Family to family. I hear you. We are going to hear now that these people say, the same bank that said they're going to renegotiate this contract and make things better mm -hmm. for the people like me. Mm -hmm. This can't do it. Mm. I go for big money, never cry, you know, I cry. Hmm. I only cry, you know, I get in pension, Mr. Rav. I get in a little old age pension. Mm. And I study where they find a lie, you know, people want to actually get to people for the promises that they can be, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to save a two-month pension as if I can't get a lie, you know, for guiding them to go out for, for beating the promise they make to me, man. Mm -hmm. I hear you, man. Go. I, I would, if you can get a lawyer, I want to help too. I study enough about to, to lie and say, look, these people promised me this. They didn't produce and now they confess they can't do it. They breach a promise to me. So I want them to be ex now. Mm -hmm. I want to be ex I put there. Mm -hmm. To make them get the power. What happened to the body? Mm -hmm. huh. Wow. You know, I say, even if I said, they can't get it. I just got to put me thing in a paper and fetch them and throw them out in a trench. I can't make them money to make a safety tank. You hear that? And he waited for me, I will need only seven, I go to you now. Wow. Wow. You think I'm so bad, buddy? I will need to have him big, but my heart weak now. That is that is the dilemma I find myself in, man. Oh, boy. He says, you know, hey, it's like I feel like crying. And I ain't said that I ain't got nothing to do. I want to do something because me want you this weakness, but you can't do it. Now you will get people. I ain't want you but this way something. No, people can't understand as the R and me in this thing together. Mm -hmm. um, it begins from the first vice and the first step. Stop thinking about who coming. Just go. If you gotta go, go. You know, people got to come because everybody feeling this thing. I look at the eggs, they're feeling it more than I look at the eggs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, sometimes when I... Sometimes when I listen to, to, to some of you, in the day too, I get a few calls, you know. I just, I, I'm, I'm at a loss to, to, to give a, a comment back, you know. It's very difficult. When, when, when I sit here to listen that you can't be a septic tank, you want to be a septic tank, and you got a mess in a plastic bag on to this day and pelt it out. Man... Man, brother, brother, I, I believe you, I believe you, and I, I, I can only hope that Routledge, ExxonMobil, Hess and Sinop, along with President Ali, Norton and Ramjatan, them listening to, to, to people like you, man. You got me number there, you could call me anytime I would bring the press to come and see Yes, I have it, I have it, I have it, thank you, thank you for your contribution, man, you made... Oh. If you lie to me, the nation, how could you come back and, and tell me something? No, I can't believe you anymore. Oh boy. Oh boy. No longer promise me anything. You can't promise the nation anything. You should do the other everything now and just come out. Go on your way. Your pocket full. Go home. Thank you, my brother. Because Thank you. you. Deceit. Thank you. Deceitful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless. God bless. God bless. Bye. Bye. Paul, good evening. Good evening. Um, good night, and um, let me say Happy International Women's Day um, to Kiana and to all the women that might be listening at this time. Good evening. Thank um, you, sir. I would also like to wish Divina speedy recovery from her ailment. And um, as usual, I would always say that um, Divina has the guts to stand up to these guys when you see they try to embarrass people, right? And I think it has been... There is a pattern now that is emerging, especially the Kaito News reporters. I have been taking a keen look and seeing that when they ask questions, these politicians, they are very, very um, waiting to stop you in your tracks, right? But I like the guts that you people are, that you people have, and they, and that kind of a, and that kind of a militancy, if I should use that word, that you are standing up to them. All right, all right. With that much said. Um, I would like to make a few comments that was aired earlier. I very much, I'm in very much agreement with um, with Kiana's statement early on when she said that there should have been a commission of inquiry into this whole petroleum affair since the beginning of it. 
so as to see who gets what and where the money is going and how it's spending. I call an all guy needs to take note on this. Like how Jardil, they used to want to have commission of inquiry into the death of Walter Rodney, who has nothing to do with them. I am demanding that the commission of inquiry should be held on this petroleum business because this is most relevant and this is happening at this moment in time. Rodney is very Rodney is part of our history. It's not that he's not important, but at this point in time, I think we have to give the it's it's more relevant to talk about the oil. And what is happening here is um is showing that there's a lot of cracks all over the place, you know. And it was Jagley when he was in opposition when he had said that oh um. We will not be putting the, the oil industry into the hands of the politician. Remember that statement? He's on video saying that thing. So that meaning that he he will be taking care of it. But isn't he a politician? Why is it why is it that he he has said that um, he's not putting the the oil industry into the hands of the politicians? Isn't he a politician? So he is actually right there and then he's opening up people to question his motive. And I am beginning to see, like so many others, but it's just that they don't want to hear their, their voice, their concern, that something is going on. It's either it's going on in plain sight or it's going on behind closed doors. And it's time that we have to get up and we have to do something. This We have to go to plan B. The plan A has been this program that you're having here. And it's, to me, it's getting under their skin because imagine he would have left a press conference last Friday to call up Tilly Bobbies and the first thing that he could mention was the Kaicho News and its reporters. And then he had to mention Glenn Lal name. So it, 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 it's shown clearly to my mind, and I'm certain the nation would agree with me, that you're really the opposition in this country, not Aubrey Norton anymore. So this, this thing is um, showing that it's getting under his skin. And he knows that you are exposing or you're making, you're, you're leaving no stone unturned. And I must say this, that I am very, very much, um, I very much admire the work that Kiana is doing. I, if, if I had the power to, to, um, to give her Pulitzer Prize in investigative journalism, she would have gotten it long time ago. And I, I, I commend her for her work and she should keep it up. And I see the Venus also following in her footsteps. So together with the team from Kaichor, with you, the publisher, Mr. Glenn, and Divina, I congratulate you, and I know many Guyanese are very, very much um, in, in in that um, same view, right? Now, this... Thank you, by the way, sir. Sure. Um, I would like to also say that listening to that press, that, that um, meet, what do you call it, that meeting that they had in um, the when they launched the stadium so turning ceremony it's it's you know it's it's very it's very shocking to see that people are clapping their hands when this guy said that they're gonna cut gas by half cut electricity by half and there is no empirical or quantitative data to show how they're going to do it exactly right so I mean, Guyanese people—it's it, so stupid that how they're clapping. They don't even know what they're clapping to, <laughs> even if they, to the death or what they're doing. Uh, when I say death, uh, no pun intended. It's either the money or, or or the physical one, as in the case of an of a possible explosion, right? Now, um, they these people need to wake up and they need to get more concerned, and um, they have to be more vigilant in this thing. That's why I yesterday was a kind of a little bit taken aback when I saw what has been happening in the with the Pagua celebration, how Norton and these guys, they're shaking hands and they're Pagua, and they're playing Pagua with each other. Now, what does that tell tells us as, as, the, as the citizens of this country? You know, people are beginning to say that these guys are friends, but why they're fighting on each other like this? Why they're, that is the reason why they're keeping us divided. Mm -hmm. They're keeping people, they're keeping us in the dark and keep making us believe that there is something wrong with Africans and Indians in this country because they're, these are the two um, predominant um, ethnic groups in this country. I want Guyanese people to realize something, that you don't take these politicians' word for granted. You know John F. Kennedy Jr.? Um, I think his name is John Kennedy, not mm -hmm. F, John Kennedy Jr. You know, he once said that politician, politics is too important to be left to the politicians. Exactly. Right? And that is where the citizens have to take reins. Mm -hmm. 
of what is happening because it's we put them there. Mm -hmm. And you know, I am becoming very disgusted with this whole thing now. You know, the amount of lies I've been following this guy Jack Dave since I was in high school from the late 90s and he came he was in two terms he was present for two terms and i have been looking and i have been reading all the things that he has been doing and i've become so much disgust with him now and i think it's time now that this cabal they, they need to be fired and the opposition is nowhere helping this thing it, it shows that we they are in cahoots with each other right it's just that they're putting this this thing on this this kind of a they show that they, they are at, they're at war because something is going on. And, you know, it, it bothers me to know that, like many callers would have said earlier, that what was Rutledge doing at his start, toiling, um, turning ceremony for a stadium in Barbies when he is raping this country's wealth and taking it away? That, that to me, leaves a lot of question here. Yeah. I wonder, would that stadium, if at all it's coming, coming from Exxon, as they claim, and will be part of it. Would that money be coming out from cost oil? Yes. I'm just asking. <laughs> right? So, um, that would be my contribution for the night. I wish Thank I would um, so go on more, but I know there are a lot of people more would like to say things. So, I will leave it there for now. And I'd like you all to keep up the good work that you're doing. You are the only mouth for the Guyanese people who are who are still remains in the dark because they don't want to take the chance to understand that this is real, that that is happening. I've been looking at the the social media and I've been seeing a lot of negative things have been saying about you, Mr. Lal, but I know those are not normal people. Those are people that are is either probably have been put there by the by, by these people to make those derogatory statements, right? You know it's a very funny thing to know that Jade has been um, has been comparing your building on Regis Street there to this gas to show planting, right? Mm. This guy ill at guy, these people are stupid. He always been doing this thing. The last time he did that thing with ice cream and he said if they go buy ice cream they're gonna be recording that. Yeah. Right? And block chicken and all this kind of thing. This guy got to be he's out of his league now. And he thinks the same old tricks that he has been using all the time that it will still ring true in this modern time. But I want to tell him no that that is not going to work and there are people who is looking at him I have been coming through lots of things that you would have said in the past and I have lots of things to say that he has contradicted himself to this present day. And I, for one guy, I know I am fed up with it and I, 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 I cannot take this any longer. And it's time we have serious change in this country. So Mr. Lal and Ms. And, uh, Ms. Kiana and Josh, um, y'all have a good night. You too. Have a good night. Bye-bye.